this video I will show you the optimal settings for your Fujifilm camera to take better handheld photos and videos at night. For better photos at night you need a faster lens, f2.8, f1.4 or even 0.95. Usually for handheld night photos I use prime lenses because they are faster than zooms. I don't keep my shutter speed equal to the length of the lens, how many photographers will tell you. I tend to shoot double the lens length if I want sharp photos. This is more for lenses above 18mm. The wider the lens, the lower you can go with your shutter speed. If I want to add some motion blur to my photo, I lower it to 1 over 15th of a second. When I use a lens that has autofocus, I put it on continuous focus because I found it more reliable than single on my X-T4. I also shoot manual focus lenses because you can find some fast ones, like the 7 Artisans 35mm f0.95. Faster apertures have narrow depths of field so they are harder to focus manually. But once you get the hang of it, it is a very rewarding experience to nail focus. I leave my ISO on auto most of the time, because I don't mind the noise the Fujifilm cameras make. I quite like it. Even at 12800 the noise looks nice. When shooting at night, I always turn my dynamic range to 400 to protect my highlights. This option also affects RAW files. It will give you more noise, but you will be able to recover highlights better. If you don't want to use the dynamic range option, you should expose your photos for the highlights, underexpose. It is easier to recover shadows in post than highlights. This will also help you if you use diffusion filters. Most of the time I shoot RAW plus JPEG and keep my white balance on auto. I only change the white balance when I use film recipes. For better video at night, the same thing applies here as well, you need a fast aperture lens. These are my preferred settings, I shoot 4K DCI, 24 frames per second, at 200 megabytes per second, long GOP, H.265, 10 bit. But if your camera doesn't have this option, 8 bit is just fine. I don't use F-Log at night because if you do, the short version, you will get less data in your footage than recording in Rec. 709, so I usually use Eterna or Classic Chrome. Classic Chrome is a very nice option when shooting at blue hour, it gives you a very nice sky. I keep my shutter speed double the frame rate, so if I shoot at 24 frames per second, my shutter speed is going to be 1 over 48 or 50 depending on your camera. For 30 frames per second is going to be 60 and so on. You can go lower, but if you have motion in your footage, this is going to be blurred. Go lower only on static frames. ISO, depending on the light available, is between 640 and 2500. And I keep my noise reduction on plus 1. I never go above ISO 2500 for video. I set my white balance on the spot depending on the scene. You could use auto white balance and then set a button to lock it. Or you could set it to 3400 Kelvin and then adjust it in post. I use manual focus 50% of the time because most Fuji lenses are not good at focusing when it comes to video. When I use autofocus I turn off the face I detect and set my focus point on a contrasty part of the scene. These are the options I usually use. The best way to find what fits your style is to experiment with your settings. If you like my photos, check out my presets pack in the description below and follow me on Instagram. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, like and subscribe. This helps me grow my channel and make more videos like this for you to watch. See you next time.